Hi guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would like to show you guys a complete retouching that I do on this image. So this is my before and this is my after. So in today's tutorial I do want to show you guys all my steps that I use to retouch this image from A to Z. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all I'm in Adobe Bridge and I'm going to open now my raw image here on the left hand side. Just going to double click on this and it's going to take us into Camera Raw. Now in Camera Raw I do want to do my first adjustments and just adjust this image a little bit better and also just tweak a few certain things. So first of all mostly what I do is I want to tweak my sharpness a little bit. If I'm going to zoom in here you guys can see that this image is pretty sharp but I just want to sharpen it a little bit more, get a little bit more edge into this image. Okay, so I'm going to do this now with my basic adjustment slider here. going to go over to details and in details I'm first of all going to move that up to 70 here amount and my radius, I'm going to take the radius all the way down to around 0 0.5, 0 0.6, somewhere around there. 0 0.5 over here and as you guys can now see it does really sharpen a little bit more. Over here we've got a little bit more, uh, all the details just come out a little bit more. So I just wanted to sharpen that a little bit. Okay, let's go back to basic exposure. I'm going to go switch this back to full view. And now what I'm going to do is also just work a little bit on my exposure on this image. So for me it's a little bit too bright, a little bit too heavy. So let's tweak the exposure a little bit, see what that will give us. Just maybe one or two hints, say maybe minus 20, somewhere around here, 0 0.20 or 0 0.15. Then also playing a little bit with contrast, just pushing the contrast all the way up. Okay, that's way too much, so I'm not going to play with that at the moment. Maybe work a little bit with my shadows over here. Tweak the shadows a little bit, just getting a little bit more blackness into those shadows. Okay, and also tweaking my blacks a little bit, see how strong that will give me. More contrast or not. Okay, minus 8 around here, that looks good to me as well. And with the color, I'm pretty happy actually. I'm not going to work too much with saturation at the moment. I can still do that in Photoshop afterwards. But I do want this image to still be punchy, so maybe let's tweak our highlights here a little bit. Push them all the way up, see, okay, that's now exposure is now burning out completely. So let's take it to plus 2, plus 1 or 2 over here, that's fine for me. Okay, and I'm going to once more go back into exposure here and just tweak the exposure just a little bit more down. Okay, I don't want it to get it too dark. So up a little bit again, say minus 30, I'm happy with minus 30. Okay, then my basic is all ready here. My temperature, I'm not going to play too much with temperature. I'm going to do that with a plugin in Photoshop later. I'm also happy with my details. With all the color corrections here, saturation, I do want to change a new color, so I'm actually happy with this now. And I can take this as a smart object into Photoshop. So I'm going to just quickly go down here and have a look under my workflow options if this is set to a smart object. Yes, that's okay. So I'm going to open object and open this as a smart object in Photoshop now. Okay, so now in Photoshop, first of all, I do want to close bridge quickly. So I've got more RAM on my computer here. Okay, in Photoshop, I'm going to press F now, make this nice and full screen, and with Z here, just zoom a little bit in. Okay, so one thing I definitely want to do on this image is just give this a bit of a crop, so it just has more of a cinematography crop somewhere around this direction. I'm not going to do the cropping now, I just first of all want to have a look if I will crop it like this, what it will give me. Looks quite nice if I just would have a normal cropping like this, just making my image a little bit nicer. Okay, I'm um, going to press Command D out of that option, and now we're going to work on this image. So first of all, still my normal layer here. I'm going to double click on here and just write original. So it's my original layer. I'm going to make a duplicate of that via Command J, and I'm going to actually rasterize that layer now, and then also going to just write here retouch. So I'm going to retouch on that layer now and just make her skin look good and also get all dirty stuff out here. Okay, zoom in a little bit closer. First of all, I do want to work just on her face and just retouch her face a little bit. I'm going to work with my healing brush for that. So we're going to go over here to healing brush, healing brush tool, and now we're going to 
work a little bit and just remove all the pimples and also under the eye here this line and just clean it up a little bit. So with Alt again, I'm going to select an area close by and just very quickly sample over here and just take out all the small stuff. It's going to clean up a little bit those areas and details. Okay, I can also make my brush a little bit bigger here. I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board, so I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, back to Healing Brush. I'm going to clean up a little bit more. Okay, make my brush a little bit smaller again, and I'm going to press Control all together. Just see my featherness should be completely feathered. Okay. And okay, let's clean this a little bit and over here, down here. So I'm really working now in the details, just very close by. Okay, a little bit more. And also just on these rough areas here, just cleaning up everything nicely. A little bit over here. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Take this out. And I also do want to take out this line under her eye here. So I'm going to go very close by again, select an area close by, and just sample it with one big stroke already. Okay, over here as well, a little fine stroke. Then take that out a little bit under her eye. Okay, a little bit more. And this is so close, nobody will really see this, so that's all right. Down here as well, take that out a little bit more. Just getting rid of all these lines here. And then also I do want to take this out a little bit. Just brush a little bit over this. Also sampling again from here now, brushing back again. Okay, and then over here. Okay, brush a little bit over here, clean that up. Scroll a bit through the image, clean this side. Okay. That looks all good. Then maybe just a little bit over here at the top. Just a little bit. Okay, clean that. Okay, clean all of that up. Also here a little bit more. Happy with that. That's okay. Maybe a little bit more here next to the eye. We can also take out this here, but I actually don't want to now. I'm going to leave that there. Look here at the top. Maybe retouch there a little bit. Okay. That looks all good to me. Then I'm just going to go a little bit through my image here again and just see if I see some marks on the clothing itself. Everything looks pretty good. Here's a little bit of a dusty thing. I can just clean this up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go scroll through here. There's also a bit there, but that's fine actually. Let's go up a little bit more. Something over here. That's all right. Just with heating brush again over that. Yeah, and so far everything looks pretty good for me. I'm happy with this. Actually, going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to check my before and after quickly. Just remove the few dots and pimples and lines. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that actually. Okay, zoom out a little bit. And I think before I'm even going to continue, I'm going to crop this image now to where I want it to be. So I'm going to go back in my crop tool over here and just take this all the way down to the line and also to this line. I'm going to press enter for that or accept that for the moment. And just going to have a quick look at it. And not too happy with this crop, so I'm going to go back here in history. And I'm actually going to take this image and move this up a little bit. So it should be somewhere over here. I don't want to crop it too much at the top and also at the bottom, not too much. Okay, up a little bit more. I don't want to add the finger down here. So let's take this down a little bit again. So somewhere around here, just before the finger starts, so that should be fine. Okay, with C again, my crop tool, and I'm just going to crop this all the way. Okay, and accept that. Okay, so I've cropped this now. Everything is cropped. 
I know now my smart object here won't really work that good anymore. It will still take me into camera raw, but once I take it back into again to Photoshop, it will still fit to this crop here. Okay, so now I can get also rid of the lines. Let's go to view and say just clear guides over here and the guides are out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy now with that uh, skin retouching and all the cleaning up in this image. Let's also start now with just cleaning or giving her face a bit more of a nicer skin. So for that I'm going to duplicate this layer again, take it down here and I'm just going to write here skin and put those two layers here with command G into a group and just write here retouch. Okay, in this retouch folder again back to skin layer and now I'm going to work with a filter called Nix Software Color FX Pro 4 which we basically going to take now, yeah we're going to take that layer into that plugin. Okay, so in here let's make this a little bit bigger so we get to see a little bit more of what's actually happening. So make the plugin a bit bigger. Okay, and then in this plugin I want to go to Glamour Glow on the left hand side here. And I just want to soften his skin actually with Glamour Glow a little bit. So let's play with the glow a little bit, take it all the side to the left. So like I said before, most probably in some of my tutorials, I do not know all these plugins out of my head. I usually also go into these different settings here and then try things out. So Glamour Glow all the side to the left, not looking too nice. If I take it all the way to the right, it just gets way, way softer and more brighter as well. So maybe somewhere in the middle between 20% somewhere over here. Now I'm just looking at the skin. I'm not looking too much at the surroundings because I'm going to mask this out later and I just want to apply this onto her face. So let's take the saturation as well, take it all the way down. Okay, that's completely desaturating it now. So maybe at zero percentage, because I do want to have the, still the same saturation in her face. I'm going to put zero down, zero percent. And glow warmth, maybe a little bit cooler or warmer. Let's give this a try. I really like cooler a little bit more than warmer. So let's take this a little bit down to minus five, a little bit more because later I'm also going to change the whole color correction of this image so I think a little bit cooler would be better so let's take it to minus 25 okay and let's also still work in the highlights here let's try the highlights out if we push it all the way to the right 100% highlights 0% highlights if I put it to 0% you can see that all the detail also starts to be destroyed so I don't want to destroy it too much maybe just about 50% as well again. So I did sharpen it in camera raw because I do want to have the sharpness all on her clothing and on the surrounding. But I don't want to have her sharpened, over sharpened on her face. So that's why I'm also adding now again a glamour glow onto her face giving it a nice skin. Shadows, let's try that. Not giving us too much of an effect, more detail again or more greater nicer shadows down here. Okay, let's play also with say 25% for that, okay, and I'm pretty happy now with that actually. Let's maybe just quickly go over her skin again, have a look here under the loop in the right corner here. Okay, let's accept that now and say okay, so we're going to get a complete new layer just with skin as you guys can see here from Nix Software, it's preparing that, and then we're going to mask that out a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this new layer here. First of all, I do want to zoom in a little bit closer. I'm going to go over to Navigator and just zoom in a little bit closer here. Okay, and that is now our after. And that's our before and after. So we still have detail, but we just have a light, like a more glow on the skin. Okay, so that's our before and that's our after, before and after. Okay, so let's take this layer now make this a hidden mask with alt select the hidden mask icon down here and we're going to hold alt and create a hidden mask as you guys can see a black mask now so now I want to do take my brush and just paint out the girl's face so let's make this a bit bigger I'm going to press B for brush and also make my brush size a little bit smaller press control alt together feather that not completely a little bit more about hardness around 30% Okay, and then I'm also going to paint now with a white foreground color, as you guys can see over here. Paint with a white foreground color on that hidden mask. So we're just going to reveal now everything that we had from this layer over here. Okay, so let's paint that. 
in and it takes a little bit until it's coming through so over here we can see it now a little bit okay I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger and paint that in a little bit more over the hair I don't want to paint over her eyes I do want to have complete sharpness on her eyes okay a little bit here a little bit on I think over here to give that a bit more glow okay and let's go down and I do want to darken it down here a little bit okay not over the mouth as well I do want to have that sharpness over the mouth okay and that's all actually I'm gonna do for the skin so let's maybe just have a look quickly before and after okay let's zoom out a little bit more and we can have a look before and after, before and after, before and after. It looks a little bit better already. It's just a small touch that I add to this image now. It wouldn't be necessarily a perfect skin retouching. This is just to add, make the skin a little bit softer. Okay, so that's all about my retouching, just cleaning up and getting the skin to look a little bit prettier. Now I'm going to press Command, Alt, Shift, E, Master Shortcut and create a complete new layer, which I do want to add now a little bit sharpness again, more sharpness onto this image, just to get a little bit more details out of it. So we have this new layer now here, so I'm going to go back into Filter and it's to Pass Labs Details 2. So we're going to work with that and just create more sharpness around our image and also get more details out of this. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit closer here. I'm going to go to the right hand side, press on the plus here just so we can get a bit closer and see a bit more of her details. And also on the face, you can always, always on the skin see it very good. And one more. Okay, so now we can see her detail on the face pretty good. Let's now just go over to the right hand side and play a little bit with our detail slider over here. So under small detail, I want to take it up to 40 or 50%. Try that out first. And now have a look at her skin. It should actually directly pop out more. Yep, way, way more. All the detail in her skin and on the clothing got way more. So that pushes quite a lot. I don't want to do it at 40%. But I actually do want to leave it now at 40% and also go to large details and try that at a 40% over here. Okay, and I'm going to wait and that also creates a little bit more shadow and contrast. But it really doesn't look nice on the skin at all. This is our before and as you will see now after again. So it does not look too nice on her skin and also on the surrounding. I'm not too happy with this. A bit too harsh, but too much detail. Let's have a look on her clothing here. That just brings out the clothing a little bit more. So it's a little bit too harsh now. I'm going to accept this now, but then going to change my opacity and also mask stuff out again. So it's not too strong on this image. So it's just going to get a subtle touch to it then. Okay, so let's accept this. And we're going to go take it with OK back into Photoshop as a new layer. Or I guess it will be on the same layer. So let's have a look here on layer 1. Yes, that's directly added to layer 1. And as you guys see, this has gotten a really weird total over sharpened touch to it now. So it does look very, very hard. And I don't really want to overtake it at... 100 opacity. I do want to try something out now, maybe 20% opacity, except that, and that looks a bit better already. Just a little bit of more sharpness on here. You can't really see it now when we've zoomed out like this, but if we zoom in a little bit closer and go back here to say somewhere where you can see the skin and also the detail of the coat here, we can then say on and off again. Oh, that's our before and after before and after. It's a little bit more sharpness here. We can actually take it up to 25 or 30 percent uh, before and after, before and after. So that's just sharpened a little bit. But we also obviously now sharpened again the skin here on her face which I didn't want to do. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit again and now I'm just going to create a normal mask over here. So select a white mask over here. I'm going to go back to my brush and with brush now with a black foreground color just going to switch this over here I'm just going to paint out the skin now 
Okay, so let's just go over here and we're just going to paint and have a look how soft his skin actually gets once I paint over here. I do want to leave the mouth in here and also the eyes so we do have those sharpness that we just added on the mouth and on her skin. Okay, let's paint this out a little bit more here and also at the top. Do you want to leave it here on this necklace or whatever you call this thing? Okay, I do want to also leave this on her hair, keep everything nice and sharp. Okay, let's paint underneath of here and also in here I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Don't want to add too much details in there. Okay, let's go a little bit down here on the neck. Obviously I do want to just get rid of that as well, paint that out. Okay, let's just turn everything off and we can get to see where we actually painted stuff out again. Obviously this layer is now on 30%. Let's change that back to 100. So that's where I painted out. I don't want to add this onto the skin at all. Then also just let's paint this out a little bit more over here. Don't want to add it too much. Okay, so that's basically what we've uh, masked out now from the skin. Let's change that back to 30% again and turn our other layers again on. So that's fine. Okay, so that's basically again Command G. Now my new layers, I'm just going to call this Details. And I know, okay, that's everything about my details. Okay, so next step would be now I'm going to dodge and burn this image completely and work a little bit just with dodge and burning. So I'm going to create a new layer, press Command A, fill that with a selection, press my marking tool over here, right click and say fill with a 50% gray over here. Blending mode should be normal still. Um, I'm going to say OK. This is not normally like I do it, but anyways. OK, so Command D, get rid right of the selection, press Command J to duplicate this layer. Then we're going to write here soft layer. And we're going to write over here hard layer. OK. And now hard and soft together, Command G. And we're going to write here D and B for dodge and burning. OK. Going to now take my soft layer and change the blending option to soft light. So it's very soft and I can actually brush softer in here. And with my hard layer, going to change the blending option to overlay. So it's really hard. If I do something in here, it's very harsh. Okay, soft light. I'm going to go a little bit closer here. And now with soft light, I just want to darken areas, brighten small areas. So let's first of all start working on hard layer. First of all, also going to change my foreground colors here back to black and white with X and then also going to press D just to swap that back and X again now white in the front, X again black in the front. Okay, my brush over here with Control A, going to feather my brush completely so no hardness at all and also do want to take my opacity here down to 0 0.7, 0 0.6 so it's just 7%, 6%. Okay, zoom a little bit closer and now the first step I do want to do with my hard layer is just going to paint a little bit the edges in and also fill her hair a little bit, give the eyes a little bit more contrast, the lips, give this whole image a little bit of more 3D look and dynamic. Okay, so let's paint a little bit over here as you guys can already see it. I'm going to stroke once or twice over this. Okay, and I don't want to paint too much over here because obviously we have this big flare coming in here. So if we would add more contrast, uh, more more uh, burning over here, you would definitely see that someone has burned in here. So I don't want to add that. So let's go back on history here and just take that out again. Okay, on her eye again as well, just giving a little bit more detail here again under the eye as well. Going to just sharpen the pupils a little bit over here. Then also going to go down to her mouth and just adding a little bit to that shadow and all the contours, just going along the contours a little bit down here. And there you guys can also see it now again from my flare here. I'm darkening this too much, so it's not a good sign. Shouldn't do that, so be careful with that. Now I'm going to switch also back to white and also just add in a little bit of those halos here again. A little bit more. Okay, this looks too bad already, so let's zoom out a little bit. Yep, not too good. We overdone the sides here. So I'm going to go back a few steps just in brush and also try to get rid of that again in history panel. Okay, let's go down a little bit more. Okay, that's pretty much where it started, so let's go back. Okay, so here over here again on my hard layer, again switch back to black. I'm just going to paint in carefully over here, not too much. Okay, and also a little bit down here. Okay, then I want to swap back to soft light over here. 
and in soft light also just give this a little bit of a shade over here also under her neck a little bit zoom out a little bit more a little bit more here again and now back to hard layer sorry I'm switching quite a lot between hard and soft layer always when I'm in different areas on the image I do swap layers on the hair I do want to work now with hard layer and just brush in all of this like make it a little bit darker over here and just give it more details okay and also over here I'm going to try this now out on a soft layer working a little bit on this flare so over here a little bit so we're just going to darken this a little bit but now I'm darkening it obviously overall so it looks a bit better also giving this image or this whole face side here a little bit more shape now with a bit more contrast and shading this a little bit okay let's go back to the hard layer again and work a little bit here on the clothing and also on all the hairs okay I'm just gonna brush very quickly and roughly over her hairs, all the brown hairs, just getting that a little bit, okay, all the dark edges, switch back with white over here with X and just going to make a little bit of those highlights stand out here on the hair as well, so it pops a little bit more, okay, left and right, also a little bit here, we go back to the top, do the same on the top a little bit, on the hair as well, and now back to soft light and I'm just going to go again over this flare like one big stripe over here add a little bit of flare okay back to hard layer and over here just going to work a little bit on her coat just going to make those highlights here a little bit more punchier on her coat also down here a little bit more brightening that up a little bit then as you guys can always see I'm always m changing my brush size really rapidly always smaller and bigger smaller and bigger that really helps me a lot okay this brighten that a little bit over here and over here then switch back to black also darken this a bit and over here okay darken this switch back to white and just brighten up these highlights here a little bit, a little bit on the coat here, not too much, okay. Switch back to black and now we're going to work a little bit here on the arms and over here in the wrinkles. So we're darkening the corners a little bit, a little bit in here, darkening that, a little bit more and more. Okay, going to zoom over here again with my brush, just on the right layer, hard layer again, darken this a little bit and also darken the coat a little bit especially in here okay watch out again for our flare over here so that's actually alright already so I'm gonna go back dodge and burn turn that on and off so we can actually see the difference here on and off on and off on and off okay so now you can actually apply this as well if you want to on all the leaves here and over your complete image this is just gonna be way too much work so I'm not gonna add this onto the image Let's make me quickly close everything, all our layers, and you can actually basically see what I've been working on on this image now. So over here, very hard and controlled in the dodge and burning areas on her eyes and also contours of lips. Normally I also work on the nose and also other eye, but now due to that big flare here, I'm not going to work too much on that. Maybe I'm still going to go back into dodge and burn on hard layer and just very subtly going to work a little bit on those highlights here. So switch back to white over here with my foreground color and also my brush is 7% on the hard layer. And I'm just going to go a little bit over the lips here, just adding a little bit of a touch, also a little bit into her eyes. I'm just going to make this a little bit nicer here. Okay, and a little bit more detail in here. Okay, so it just matches a little bit better. Okay, this pop stands out a little bit too hard now already. But as you guys can already see how we structured the complete person here just with adding a little bit of dodge and burning techniques. Okay, let's turn those off again and as you guys can now also see we do have a little bit more highlights in our eyes and on the lips as well. And now also like I said before here it's very hard and controlled and on the hair and over all on the coat it's very smudgy, it's not very hard edges. Okay, let's turn everything on again. Now next step that I still want to do is work on my color cast and also 
just give this overall image a little bit of a vignetting. So I'm going to press Command Alt Shift E master shortcut again just to create a complete new main layer and now I'm going to go back into filter to Nick Software Color FX Pro 4 and I do want to add a little bit of a uh, vignetting around this image. Okay, let's go all the way down here to vignetting a vignette over here. And as you guys can see already, we got a really rough vignette around this. I do want to have a look here in my options. Option number one in the shapes. Option two, definitely adept edges. Let's have a look at that. That's a bit hard, those are edges. I'm maybe going to take it to 50%. And also now my transition. Have a look. A little bit smaller. I do want to give this a bit more softer edge transition, so it's better. Let's actually take it full up to 100%, so it's very, very soft here on the edges. That's what I'm looking for. Size, let's have a look for the size, maybe a little bit bigger. I just want to add this a bit in here, so it kind of makes this whole image go a little bit mystic on the sides, and then you got more punch in the center again, and also your eye leads a little bit into the center. Okay, say so 24, okay, and now very important opacity should be just very, very low. Okay, so I just want to darken those areas here on the side. My size lady up a little bit more again. Okay, and opacity maybe a little bit more. Okay, leave it like that, I'm happy with that. Adapt edges around 50, my transition about 100, size 46, and also opacity around 27. Also, don't forget, I can always change my opacity again in my layer options here as well. Okay, so we darkened everything as you guys can now see. Let's go the before and after, before and after. So we basically, we now leading the viewer's eye a little bit from the outside just directly into the center. But over here, as you guys can now see, due to the vignetting, we're losing a bit of punch over this side here coming from the flare. So don't want to have that. So let's create again a new mask over here with the mask icon. I'm going to take again my brush, black foreground color, with a hundred percent opacity or maybe let's work with 50 percent opacity and make the brush a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna paint out the flare now over here so just to get the punch back as you guys can really see it make the brush even bigger so we just need to add one big stroke over here bring it in onto the girl I'm painting very carefully now and just adding a little bit more of that punch again nice that's what I'm actually looking for now we can add another dot on here because we're obviously working with opacity 50 for the brush. So as you guys can see it now on the right hand side, our brush or our mask is really dark at the top going to a lighter color over here, lighter gray. So that basically means again this fades in a little bit. Let's turn this off and on again, on and off, on and off. Okay, so I really like it. It's just a little bit of a subtle uh, approach to this. Okay, take these two new layers here, or I can actually delete this other layer too. This is our vignetting, so I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to go over to create a little bit more of a color cast. So first of all, I'm going to go to adjustments over here. And I'm going to go into selective color and into the neutrals, yes. And now I want to play a little bit with my cyan. Have a look where that's taking me. I do love the yellowish approach for this. And also have a look for my magenta. Okay, that's just getting too green, so I'm going to put that back to zero. My yellow, have a look for that. Give this either more yellow tint with plus four. And also see where the blacks go. Take me a little bit more blacker. Okay, so that would be one option I might go with, but I'm not too happy with it yet. I still want to try some plugins out. So let's just disable this layer, go back to the last layer, and now create a master shortcut again. We can't create a master shortcut here on our latest layer because it's obviously blended off and it will not work. So again, Command Alt Shift E. Okay, complete new layer over here, and we're going to move this now to the top. So obviously we have not worked with our selective color here, so that has not been added to our image here at the top. Okay, so because we blended it off, so it's not merged together into this. If we turn this off and turn it on, we can exactly see our effect again. Okay, I'm doing that now because I do want to have different color costs, and later then in just layers see which of these color costs I'm going to use. Okay, so select that top layer, go back to filter, obviously switch it on first, go back to filter, and in filter I'm going to say again, Nick Software Color FX Pro 4, and I'm just going to work now on a new color cast. Okay, so in Nick Software here I'm going to go all the way to ink, 
and have a look ink is very hard now so under my color set here I can still set different colors we can try a three number three a warmish a more of a greenish vibe to it so what I'm gonna do is take my strength all the way down to say 10% 15% for a little bit more of a punchier vibe okay number one also adds a little bit nicer of a punch and also gives us some nice highlights again obviously your shadows are again all the way you can still tweak your shadows up and down a little bit so if you do want to add say color set number one we could take this a little bit up our shadows so we still have a little bit more light in our shadows we obviously added a vignette so maybe take this down a little bit more and our highlights we can also tweak down our highlights I do love the push in here with the highlights but take the highlights a little bit more say to 20% so it's not over exposed in the face then okay maybe 27 let's have a look again yes maybe even 40 50 percent okay I do want to try number two that's not too nice number three going all the way to that warmer touch not too happy with that okay also down here number 10 two green weird 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 colors okay so I'm gonna go with number one but I don't want to add it too much maybe at 24 25 percent 20% okay so it gets all the more blue touch to it with highlights good my shadows are good I'm gonna say okay I'm happy with that going to accept that now okay now we have our new color ink over here everything is completely blue now and now on top of that I'm gonna go do another adjustment layer again with selective color again in the neutrals and just going to work a little bit in the magentas and yellows so take my magentas here a little bit left and right that gets more green on the right more to the purple side again zero let's try the sign out a little bit sign also looks pretty nice going over to say minus two minus three minus four somewhere over there adding a little bit more of a purple touch but not too much let's try our yellow slide a little bit left and right right plus so a little bit more greener yellowish again we didn't want to add too much of that left just goes a little bit more to the bluer side so I'm not too happy with that maybe add like a plus or three plus six to the yellow side again so it's getting a more of a greener and outdoor vibe again okay now then our blacks also try that a little bit left and right okay that also will tweak our overall exposure again let's take it to say mm, just a plus two plus three somewhere around there and I'm actually happy with that now okay so that's basically now our new exposure I'm just gonna press command alt shift E make a master shortcut again so to compare my layers quickly okay so I'm gonna turn these layers off here turn that on turn our old selective color on again and now I can see that was my first adjustment that I wanted to do and this is my second I'm actually more happier with my second looks cooler looks more contrastier and has more of a color touch to it okay so let's turn everything on again I'm also going to take all of these layers with shift press command G and just write in here my color grade color great okay happy with that and now last step I do want to add is go back to adjustments and just work a little bit on my levels here tweak my highlights a little bit so my midpoint slider up a little bit down a little bit I'm always playing a little bit with these sliders so maybe down a little bit and take my highlight slider on the right hand side just pushing those highlights a little bit more okay that's overexposing it completely so maybe just take my highlight slider again just a little bit of a tweak in there turn that on and off again we've just added a little bit more contrast to this and I'm actually already happy with this image now going to zoom in a little bit closer over here okay zoom out a little bit again and for me the sharpness looks pretty good the colors look right overall maybe one more last step that I'm going to try out I'm going to create a new layer again with brush a white foreground color down here and I'm also going to paint now with a 10% opacity over here press control alt again together see my feathering now a very hard 100% edge now take it all the way to 0% so it's very feathered and I'm just gonna make a big white dot over here okay now we've added it to just have a little bit more of flare going on let's turn that layer on and off so that's without that white flare and that's with the white flare without with it's still a bit too hard 
maybe let's take it all the way down to just another say 50 percent maybe also with my move tool just move that over a little bit see what it will give it's working almost like a big torch maybe over here just to give that a little bit more of a uh, flare coming from the sun okay so that's basically all I actually would do to this image maybe again command alt shift E create one more master shortcut layer come merge all the layers together to one layer and then maybe if I still feel like it crop it a little bit here at the top so that's now my final layer over here I'm gonna write final if I do want to add changes now maybe a little bit more sharpness or do another color change I would leave this maybe for a day or two then go back and have a look if I still want to add more color to this more sharpness or if I'm really happy with this okay let's just go into the crop tool here once more again I'm gonna go take this cropper a little bit more down except that so it's not too wide here at the top so yeah that's basically all I would do to this image to get this image let's quickly have again a before and after look so that's our before where we actually started with to what we've ended with where it's a little bit more color controlled there and looks a little bit more better alright yeah so that's my quick tutorial for you guys today please don't forget to give me a thumbs up show some true loving and also support me by, by hitting the like button then also don't forget to give me some comments down below leave me some feedback what do you guys think about this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel I will be uploading frequently and support you with nice tutorials thank you guys and see you all next time bye bye